Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read a story to you that I read to all my students every year on the first day of school. The title of the book is First Day Jitters. The author of the book is Julie Danaberg. The illustrator of the book is Judy Love. I hope you like it. Even the dog's ready for school. First Day Jitters. Sarah, dear, time to get out of bed, Mr. Hartwell said, poking his head through the bedroom doorway. You don't want to miss the first day at your new school, do you? I'm not going, said Sarah and pulled the covers over her head. Of course you're going, honey, said Mr. Hartwell as he walked over to the window and snapped up the shade. No, I'm not. I don't want to start over again. I hate my new school, Sarah said. She tunneled down to the end of her bed. How can you hate your new school, sweetheart? Mr. Hartwell chuckled. You've never been there before. Don't worry, you like the other school, you'll like this one too. Besides, just think of all the new friends you'll meet. That's one of my favorite parts of a new year is meeting all the new friends. That's just it. I don't know anybody and it will be hard and I just hate it, that's all. What will everyone think? If you aren't there, we told them you were coming. They will think that I'm lucky and they will wish that they were at home in bed like me. Mr. Hartwell sighed. Oh, Sarah Jane Hartwell, I'm not playing this silly game one second longer. I'll see you downstairs in five minutes. Even the cat doesn't want her to go to school. <laughs> Sarah tumbled out of bed. She stumbled into the bathroom. She fumbled into her clothes. Wow, what a messy room she has. My head hurts. She moaned as she trudged into the kitchen. Mr. Hartwell handed Sarah a piece of toast and her lunchbox. Do you think her head is really hurting or do you think she's pretending so she doesn't have to go to school? Let's find out. They walked to the car. Sarah's hands were cold and clammy. They drove down the street she couldn't breathe. And then they were there. I feel sick, said Sarah weakly. Nonsense, said Mr. Hartwell. You'll love your new school once you get started. Oh, look, there's your principal, Mrs. Burton. Sarah slumped down in her seat. Oh, Sarah, Mrs. Burton gushed, peeking into the car. There you are. Come on, I'll show you where to go. That was so nice of her principal to come get her all the way out of the car. She was worried about her. She hadn't seen her yet. Look at all those kids. Look how excited they are to be back at school. She led Sarah into the building and walked quickly through the crowded hallways. Don't worry, everyone is nervous the first day, she said over her shoulder as Sarah looked up. When they got to the classroom, most of the children were already in their seats. Uh oh. 
The class looked up as Mrs. Burton cleared her throat. throat) Class, class, attention please, said Mrs. Burton. When the class was quiet, she led Sarah to the front of the room and said, Class, I would like for you to meet your new teacher, Mrs. Sarah Jane Hartwell. Boys and girls, who was Sarah that whole time? She was the teacher. So even though you might feel like you might be nervous or scared on the first day of school, I want you to know that even Mrs. Collins was feeling that way too. Sometimes I don't know what school's going to be like and so I get a little nervous too and that's okay. So now it's your turn. I want you to share with me and the rest of the class, how were you feeling on the first day of school? So now I want you to find a piece of paper a pencil and some crayons and I want you to draw a picture of what you look like today on your very first day of first grade. After you draw your picture I would like for you to write a little story or maybe just a sentence or two. I want you to tell me how you were feeling. Were you feeling nervous like Sarah? Were you happy? Were you scared? Were you worried? I can't wait to see your writing and hear all about it. Make sure you save it because we're going to share it next time. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.